Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? Feeling great now, you know, come back with this win and uh, feeling awesome. How great does it feel for it to be, you know, such a long layoff since your last fight, coming in off, off of a loss? Like, does that make this feel even better? Oh, yeah, especially for my family, you know, like, uh, it, it feels so much more special because I was, I was with this desire, you know, stay away for a bit, but getting back a, a new fighter, you know, so that proved me a lot. I proved to myself I, I, I really deserve to be here. But uh, the long way off, uh, off on this was killing me because uh, I see so many fighters uh, uh, be in the front of me and, and be winning. I, I, and, and for me, it was like, you know, it was hard. But uh, I took this time. I talked to my coach, my coach Safe, Coach Rick, Coach uh, 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 Frank, everybody like on my team. Like, no, let me, let me come back a new fighter. Let me get back as a, as a new uh, MMA fighter, not just a jiu-jitsu fighter with how everybody thinks I am. And this, I proved today that's what I came for. I came to, to do the, with the mission we, we planned, and I, I really did the the plan came for, I came for. How did you remain positive during that layoff? <sighs> it, was not, it was not easy, you know, carrying this, uh, uh, this uh, three loss uh, I have in my back, you know. But uh, I took this, like, for my family. I was talking to my family, <laughs> talking to my family, you know, and telling them, like, hey, like, I want to get back like a new fighter. You know, and they always been there like, you, you will just keep working, keep doing what you do best, you know, and believe in my coach, get the, the, the right guidance, you know, get the right people to train, you know, and that's, that's was a, that's was a, a really the goal. How did it feel in there after so long? It feel like the same, but uh, I was looking more to get in the, like a finish, like a, a jiu-jitsu finish, you know, a submission. But uh, I was feeling the same. I was feeling more exactly my, more, uh, like, comfortable, you know. And, oh, my God, <laughs> that's my hair, guy. <laughs> and, uh, tell me, oh, my God, this is my little boy. Oh. So it was great, you know. I, 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 feel, I feel so comfortable, you know. It's not, it's not easy, you know. But uh, I was feeling really good, feeling real good. I uh, felt Relax, see my family, uh, like right on the, close by the cage. See my kids, like you can see, I love just having my kids around. And it was the right time. Yeah, they fine, coach. Were there any surprises in there? Ooh, yeah. Listen to my coach. Listen to my coach was the most like surprise. I was uh, being a hot head guy, you know. <laughs> 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 but. Uh, I see that the work uh, I put it on, you know, I see the, the, the moment I, I got it. And, uh, and I, was feel, I felt more relaxed. And I got to lie, I felt so relaxed and, and enjoy, enjoy the moment with see then with me. What's the plan for what's next? How soon do you want to get back in there? Uh, I want to, I want to get back soon. You know, I, I really want to, I would talk to my coach right now. One of the, guy, one of the guys, this last three losses I have, it, don't, it didn't go through my throw. I was fighting a lisp, you know, in three weeks short notice. And he tried to be, to be the man, you know. And after that, he not even fought no more. I wanted to fight back. I want to fight the F guy, you know. But uh, we see what we're gonna be next for me. You know, I wanna talk to my coaches. I wanna get back home and I wanna get better in things like to listen. You know, especially listening to my coaches is gonna be the key of my success and, and that's what I, I'm looking for right now. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, uh, great hair runs in the family. Oh yeah, you can, <laughs> you can see right there where it came from. So you can, are you gonna keep the hair now? I, I mean, will. Now that you can't, yeah, that performance like that, you can't cut the hair now. Exactly, that's why. And then, especially my 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 little boy have the same type of hair I have. That was the 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 most why I keep my hair grow. Like when I saw him uh, uh, born with so much hair, and I said, let me let me try how far I can go with long hair. And now I have this long hair with him and both of us, you know, it's something I'm, I like it to see there.
obviously it was the first time that he's seen you fight, but as for the rest of the family, how long has it been since they've seen you fight, and what did that do for you, having them outside of the cage like that? Oh, my, 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 uh, my younger one, Arthur, he saw the whole, the whole pass through winning, you know, six winning streaks, and when I saw him, like, seeing the, my losses, I felt, like, so emotional hurt, you know, and my, my younger one, bitten, he been in my two, two or three fights, you know, my Kaido. And my older one always been there, but never have the chance to come with me. And I, I want to show them when you have a, a goal, a desire, you know, you have to put everything aside, just focus what you have in front of you. And I, I want them to see that, this desire, like when, my dream, like it come through, like it, it work, when I, I work so hard and... I want them to see that, you know, and it was, it was painful the last three, but now when I see the, the outcome for this one and he saw how much work I put in this one year and a half, it make me so proud, Maybe not just proud of me, but proud then because they're going to see me uh, as, a, a, as, a, as a, a role model for them, you know. I, know, I don't know if he I may is, you know, but uh, uh, I, I want to show them that, you know. I want to show them dreams coming true when you work so hard. That's incredible. Well, obviously you can, you could definitely see the hard work and especially when it came on your timing, your, your striking. Talk a little bit about that finish. You know, you, I think you alluded to it out there that you started seeing maybe a pattern that Michael was doing, but, but that when that opening presented itself, kind of walk me through that finish. Well, the first round I was so, uh, I was so excited just to be there. You know, I was not listening to my coach and he was, he was telling me, he was guiding, don't do that, don't do that. And I started doing, but I was so emotional. Like I wanna, I wanna get something. I wanna get a finish. But after I get back to the second, the, exactly in the, in the middle of the first one, I was telling him like, "Let's go, hit me hard, hit me hard, let's go." But uh, just to take that energy out, you know, the and the the uh, I don't know how I can explain the just the feeling, you know, to to be there. Uh, but uh, I started listening when he, I came back to my corner. He said, hey, do this. You're going to see. He's going to step right over to your right. And when I saw that, I just throw the hand, and I even felt the hand on place. He caught it right on the chin. And uh, on the jitter of the moment, I kind of just fall into, you know, with the, the ground and pound. I felt so bad. But I know it's a, it's, it's the, it's a fight. But, you know, sometimes it's... It's something I normally don't do, especially TKO. Like, I'm more a submission guy, and uh, I saw the moment I, I, I just fall into, you know, if it was not the guiding of my coach, safe, like, telling me what to do, you know, step to my left and then see the right open, and right in the right time, my right hand get in the right place. That's awesome. And it was great that you, you apologized for the, the, the follow-up shot, but actually in watching it, it didn't look like there was any sort of a delay. It looked like you were just kind of flowing with that emotion at that time. And I, I can't recall anybody doing that to Michael Johnson. So, I mean, when that hit, when it hit so solid and you felt it, did it feel perfect? I mean, I've heard times when they say, people say when they had the perfect punch, that so you don't even feel it. I, did, I didn't feel uh, nothing. That's, why the, the, that's the problem because I just, I just followed the instruction what my coach was saying. Just throw the hand there. And I throw it, but I didn't feel my knuckles hitting him or hitting to his chest or anything. And that's why I followed with the second punch because I thought he just – like slip or something, and I, like how I'm not a knockout artist, like I didn't even have anything in my record like that. For me, it was just more reaction. And, and when I followed with the second one, I, I saw who he was really, like, made, like snoring, and I felt so bad because, I, hey, I'm a submission guy, I'm a, a jiu-jitsu guy, so for me, it was something different, but, you know, I didn't feel I, I felt anything. When, no, people could say you're a TKO guy as well. <laughs> you know, and last thing for me, you know, you've had a lot of respect for, for Michael Johnson as well. When you look at the, the, the names of the guys that he's fought in there, it's a, a, literally a who's who of who helped bring up the UFC. So I guess what is a win over him, and especially in this fashion, what does this do for your career? And is this one of the highlight moments of your career to, the, to date? It, it, it is, you know, it's something for me. Uh, it was incredible, you know. Uh, I never fought with as much pressure in my life, you know, especially the last three losses I had. And come back, we have with this TKO, like, 
perfect with somebody like that level. We fought so many guys better than, but I'm gonna put it like that, like champions, you know? So uh, for me, it was great. And uh, I, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of uh, uh, what, I'm, what are my goals will guide me. And uh, for me right now, I really wanna get it to, to the rank, but uh, I need things to do right down on the bottom first, like how I say I want to fight uh, uh, some guys before I go to the rank. But my dream is and my goal is getting to close to the belt again.